How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. So summer has well and truly arrived here in Australia. Today it's in the mid 30s and something I've been wanting to try for quite some time is you know when you're printing with different plastics with your 3D printer like ABS and PLA often people will say PLA will melt in the back of your car on a hot sunny day. So I thought what better day to test this than actually give it a try. So what I've got here is I have some lattice torture cube. So this is one of my favorite stringing horror ones that I printed on the Duplicator 6. And this is pure bog standard PLA. No colorants, no additives, it's just PLA. And what I have here is another lattice cube printed in ABS. This is printed on the CraftBot Plus and it's ABS from Hobby King, really cheap. I think I paid $7.50 Australian per kilo <laughs> in the sales. Ridiculously cheap. Not the best print, but again, this is an ABS print. And finally, PET. So I don't have a PET version of this cube, so I've got this larger one. Again, this is on the Duplicator 6, and this is Filamentum's recycled PET. It's not PETG, it's just PET recycled, but it should give us a good indication of the temperature resistance. So what I'm going to do is take these prints and put them into the car. It's in the full sun at the moment, it's the heat of the day, and I'm going to leave them for half an hour and come back and see how they fare. Let's try it. It's only been like 10 minutes, maybe, and we can already start to see what's happening, I'll show you. So check that out, you can see the PLA one is already starting to deform quite severely. Um, it's got this sort of diamond shape to it, look, look to it now. The ABS one looks good, and the PET one also looks quite good too. That's really the, um, the temperature resistance of PLA shining, you know, the low plastic transition temperature, that's really what gets it. You don't need to be too hot to start deforming PLA. So let's see, let's see how the next few 10 minutes or so, let's see what that brings. So I just chucked a thermometer into the car to see how hot it's getting and it's currently creeping up to 48. It's gonna probably blow up. Should probably take it out. I guess <laughs> the maximum is 50 and it's almost at 50. That's not even on the dash. As you can see, the PLA one's pretty much munted. Uh, the ABS one seems to be unaffected, and I'm not too sure about the PET, but honestly, I'm going to call it the stage. Let's have a look. My feet are on fire. Of course, I don't have shoes on because I'm an idiot. And let's have a look. So, here we go. Here's the PLA one, and it's so squishy. It's just completely done. What about the ABS? Let's have a look. No, rock solid. Completely unaffected no issues there and what about the PET you know honestly maybe a little bit more flex but really I can't tell any difference there so I guess moral of the story is if you're transporting 3d prints and it's a hot summer day then um, put them in a like a cooler or something don't leave them out in the car and especially don't leave them in the car in a car park or something because your PLA prints will end up looking like that. But uh, if you can't do that, then you need a bit of temperature resistance, then yeah, even though ABS is harder to print with, it seems to work pretty well. Or what seems to be a good middle ground, although I didn't print it at the same size, is uh, PET, which seems to be pretty much unaffected as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this little silly video interesting. It's a sauna in here. I'm going to get out, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later. Bye.